Hey everyone, it's Fantasia and welcome to another mod news video. So I'm very excited for this one. I cannot wait to experience this. I had to just make a news video about it to talk all about it, my thoughts and everything. So before we get into it, let's go ahead and do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Cassie. Thank you so much. That truly means a lot to me. You're the sweetest ever. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So I was on Tumblr when I saw this, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this creator here. I just, oh my gosh they make such good mods uh they're the creator of the health redux mod and i just there's so many more mods that i haven't even went over yet by them that i really want to do videos on soon but i just haven't gotten around to it yet now they have showcased this and it is coming at the end of the month so as we can see here if you guys can take a guess this is like a transportation mod this has everything to do with driving passports like oh my god so look passport visas like obviously these are small photos but I'm gonna head over to Twitter and show you guys a little bit more because there's been some stuff posted there. You can kind of read some stuff here. It says first class seat from travel aboard, overwhelming excitement, travel ready from travel preparations. Then this says, thank you for making travel reservations with us. We know you have a choice in travel and so glad you chose us. Please enjoy. Safe travels with us will get you to your final destination. How cool is this? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so Theo has booked travel reservations and paid a travel fare. Make vacation rental reservations if still needed, else have a pleasant and safe journey. So then there's literally a passport right here in the inventory purchase a subway pass ask for a driving lesson how cool is that there's a passport office shipping service so you can choose standard service yeah you can choose different things here your youth subway pass costs 20 dollars guys this is so cool and i love the little car icon so let's go ahead and also head over to twitter okay so there's a whole bunch of tweets posted here like one after another so this one says the sim cannot travel because they do not have a subway pass, a serviced bicycle, or a licensed and titled vehicle. Then this one says here, Sim cannot travel because they do not have a passport. And then this one says, only teens who have completed driver's education lessons or have been taught by a parent and Rachel level three of driving skill can apply for a license. Oh my God, you guys. So obviously we don't have cars in the game. I'm assuming this is going to be the type of thing where like, so for example, um, take a vacation is grayed out. So you need a passport to be able to take a vacation. So I just think this adds a lot more to the game. Like for me, it doesn't, I mean, obviously if there was actual planes and cars in the game, this would be even better. But having just that realism there where you have to go get a passport if you want to go on a vacation. Like I just really love that. I don't know. It's just an added step there that just feels like life. A lot of things with The Sims 4 don't exactly feel like life. And it's something that makes me sad. And like things in The Sims 3 that I loved was the fact that teens actually needed to learn to drive. I loved that so much. That was everything. And so I guess there's going to be a new driving skill. I don't know how that's going to work, but obviously I'm guessing it's going to be a rabbit hole type of thing and they'll gain the driving skill while they're there. So I think that's really cool. But it also says, or have been taught by a parent. So I don't know how that one will work if you get taught by your parent. I'm really curious though. I can't wait to see more. And obviously this one is just the regular travel interaction and they can't travel because they do not have a subway pass or a service bicycle or a license entitled vehicle. Vehicle. So like, it's just so cool and realistic. The little things you guys just, I love, but let's go ahead and just chat about this a little bit. So what do you guys think about mods like this? Is this something that you like to see or are these mods that you kind of pass on? For me, these are like some of my favorite types of mods just because it adds so much realism there. Like I love the health redux mod and the dental care mod. They just leave. We don't get to see them at the dentist. We don't get to see them at the doctors, but there's just different moodlets. Our Sims are experiencing different things. They can get medicine, they can get toothpaste and mouthwash and all these different things, you know, they can get cavities and stuff. And in this case, you know, they'll have a passport and things we can actually see in their inventory. And it just makes it seem like it's all really happening. And I like that, you know, it's just something added more there and more moodlets, anything like that just really pulls me in. I don't know. I need more immersion with this game and things like this really do that for me. I think this will add more to vacations. I 
feel like it's gonna make me want to have my sims go on vacation just for the simple fact that we have to go get a passport and they have a passport in their inventory like because then i could just i don't know it'll make my imagination go and like i'm a storyteller i feel like if you're a storyteller you like mods like this you know if you it really depends how you play um i think a lot of storytellers absolutely love mods like this because it really allows their stories to come to life and a lot of our stories involve things that don't actually exist in the game and i think this just kind of i don't know it just makes it seem like it's actually kind of happening there and it's not just completely in our imagination so <laughs> i love that like i remember it with one of i think arnie's mods he makes like the open world mods and stuff like that he makes, makes a whole bunch of different things but one of his open world mods i think it was the first one it allowed you to actually get on a plane there was an actual plane there that you, your sim had to go and catch the flight, which of course we didn't see them flying in the plane, but just the fact that there was a plane there, I was like, oh my God, this is so much better. I would absolutely love if they brought planes into the Sims 4. Like when we get cars, if we get cars, I'm assuming we're gonna get cars because it's been requested for a long time and it would just be really weird to me if they just never brought it into the game because lately they're all of a sudden bringing things into the game that you would think would be in there from the beginning and they're, they're just things that seem forgotten about or things that they it just seems like it's never happening all of a sudden it's appearing like story progression <laughs> all of a sudden they're fixing the townies and things like that it's like oh okay yeah so I mean I could see us getting cars this late down the line because I just I don't know something gives me a feeling that they're gonna try to complete this game and have it actually feel completed instead of like leaving it empty which I mean, about a year ago, I thought maybe they were going to leave The Sims 4 off kind of uncompleted, but now with Paralyzed and all that and just, I don't know, um, just the community's feedback, I really think all of a sudden we're going to get like everything we've been asking for. It sucks that we've had to wait so long, but that just seems like that's the route they're going in. If we really think about it, like they have taken so long to give us the things that we've been wanting like they give us toddlers so long after you know we got likes and dislikes so late into the game there is just so many things that should be there that are coming so much later after so yeah that's why i'm just thinking that's their plan so i feel like we'll definitely get cars and i definitely think they'd maybe do a cars expand or not expansion pack a cars stuff pack too where we get you know we get the basics for cars in a base game update and then we get like a car stuff pack and they have that in the sims 3 where we got like more cars and stuff like that i could see them doing something like that and then i think it would be cool if they added planes now, obviously i don't expect our sims to actually be able to go on a flight and we can go with them i just like kind of like a rabbit hole thing where if they want to go on vacation they gotta go to the airport and there's a plane they have to get on that would make my day <laughs> even if even if it was just an airport lot that was like a rabbit hole and you could see the plane outside you know but it was all just you know it was just all set dressing but and then your sims could click on the building kind of like how when your sims like go graduate you know or go into like a, a college class and they just disappear like that type of thing but yeah click on the building and you know you go fly <laughs> and it just kind of like i feel like it'd be cool if you hear some like sound effects just like as if they're in the airport you know and then all of a sudden we'll get like a loading screen and we'll be off to granite falls i think that would be amazing that would really just be spectacular <laughs> Now, who gets on a plane to go camping? I don't know, but I'm just saying as an example. I mean, I would also really love to see a uh, hotels and resorts pack. We've talked about that before. So if they did do something like that, you know, there'd be more vacation options. And I think it would just be a perfect opportunity to have the option of getting passports and getting to go fly because it just makes more sense if you're going on like a tropical vacation somewhere. I don't know, that makes so much more sense. I would just love that so much. There's so many mods that give me so many ideas for this game and you know the weird thing is is like i feel like okay yes there's a lot of things we want the community asked for a lot of things but at the end of the day a lot of us just want those little details we don't need like i mean it would be really cool if we had malls that our sims could actually go in and shop in all the stores and if we had airports where you could actually go in the airport and like you know walk around and wait and get food while you're waiting all this stuff of course all of that would be cool but a lot of us aren't asking for all of that it's just we want the little details where like 
you know, you have to go get a passport, even if it's a rabbit hole. And, you know, like, for example, when we finally got um, the grocery shopping, quote unquote, we can't actually go grocery shopping, but a lot of us are just happy that we can finally order groceries or we can go to the little grocery stand with Cottage Living and just get some groceries. You know, it's better than nothing. The little details, you know, of course we need grocery shopping in a life simulation game. So I feel like even if it's not done like crazy, like a whole grocery store, a whole airport, a whole mall, just, you know, having more real life things added is just really great. You know, like I really hope if we do get cars, the teens do have to learn to drive. You know, they just go somewhere for driving lessons and we don't get to see it happen. It's still something more. Um, when it comes to the driving lessons though, I would like if the parents can teach them, if it was kind of like the Sims 3, because in The Sims 4, even though it's closed world, the thing is, obviously there's that road that we see cars drive past, you know, there's enough space. You know, I feel like in The Sims 3, they didn't even drive that far. They would just drive like up and down the street, which would be possible in The Sims 4. If any of you guys watching, you know, know anything about programming and stuff like that, definitely let me know how you feel like cars would work in The Sims 4. Because, I don't know. I don't know if they would just have the car be in your driveway and then they just disappear as soon as they, like, hit the road and it turns to a loading screen. I really don't know. Obviously, we know that we wouldn't be able to follow our sims because it's not open world. But I'm wondering if we would even get to see them go down the street. Because like how we could in The Sims 2. Personally, I just want the, the playable things with cars the most, to be quite honest with you guys. I know now we're talking about all about cars and this is like turning into a whole cars discussion, but I promise I, I'm just gonna say a couple more things here. I mean, I'm, I'd am i be way more excited just for the more playable things with cars, like fixing up one of the, like a rundown car, like buy like a super rundown car and being able to fix it up, things like that. Um, And so yeah, I would really love to see the fixer upper cars return from The Sims 2 and then and I want to see like a lot of rabbit hole things that just make it feel better. Like being able to go get gas, like your Sims car runs out of gas. I want stuff like that more than being able to see my Sim drive around. I don't know. Like I want it to be a new woohoo spot. <laughs> woohoo in the car just stuff like that that's what I personally would be most excited about just all those little things um yeah what do you guys think about mods like this I'm so excited I will definitely have a video when this does release I guess it's coming out soon because it says the end of the month and that this was posted two days ago on tumblr and it says can you guess what's coming at the end of the month and it's pretty much the end of the month already so I don't know if it'll be the last day of the month or what but I will definitely have a video on this so you guys with that said I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this mod news video here I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys then